helps decide the car and truck of the year at the North American International Auto Show? Well, we have the man who has the answer. Fox 2's Roop Raj is live with one of the judges. Roop. Uh, that's right. You know, one of the judges actually voted for the Ford F-150 as the truck of the year, and it won truck of the year. And the car of the year, by the way, is the VW Golf, and that was also voted on just about an hour ago. We're coming to you from Dodge. want to show you this beautiful Charger over here. Look at the LED lighting on the back of this, the sharp design, kind of maintaining the classic style of the Charger as you remember it, but also giving it a new flair with that new technology, but also some other new features as well in this. Uh, Lauren Fix, the car coach herself, joining us live to talk to us about this particular car, the Charger. Well, the Charger is actually going to be eligible for the 2015, for the 2016 car and truck of the year. And I think it's great that they waited. There were some really great vehicles this year as one of the judges. But I have to say the Charger is really nice. Built here in the U.S., which is awesome. awesome. We love to get more people working. And the car also is available not just as a Charger, as you see it here in an RT, but you can also get it with the Hellcat engine if you like performance. 707 horsepower, top speed of 201 miles an hour. We had it on the track. It handles. It's a great daily driver. Of course, you get the red key for the performance totally. and the black key for the I daily. Love it. I drive with the red key every day, personally. But it's, like, it's like having the Amex black card versus, right? It's, right. A, it's, it's a privilege. It is a privilege. And I'll tell you what, the car is great. And the price point is very reasonable. So if you're like, you know, I'd really like to have a performance car. The check, check out the Charger. It's really a nice, nicely built vehicle. And the Challenger is as well. We're at Dodge right now, but let's talk a little bit of Ford for a moment, keeping in the American genre. You were one of the coaches for the car and the truck of the year for this show. Uh, you voted for the Ford F-150. Yes. Uh, why? I love, I really was impressed with the F-150. I do actually own a Ford pickup truck, but it's a, a one-ton truck, so it's an F-350. But I thought, okay, what is it better than what I'm driving now? I kind of kept that in the forefront of my mind, and I've driven F-150s before. Well, I got in the vehicle, first thing, I love the options. Usually when you get a truck and it's fully loaded, you get the XLT Lariat, you get a few options. This had massaging seats, ventilated seats, which are air-conditioned, heated seats, front and back. The new B-pillar, when you open the doors for like an extended cab, was no pillar. Oh, that's cool. So you actually can get kids in the back seat and car seats. And I thought, this is just creative engineering. Using aluminum allows for more towing capacity, better performance. Their box in the back of the truck, whether you get a long bed or a short bed, has different configurations and different adjustments that come with it. And a step to get in it. And just all the little things that you think, when I have a pickup truck, geez, I wish it had this. They they got it. Well, Lauren Fix is a mom of two, by the way. And she's raised two kids. So she kind of comes from it from the place of great expert, car enthusiast, car lover, but also an everyday consumer consumer like a mom. Uh, good to see you, Lauren. Always good to talk to you. The Acura MSX, by the way, if you want to know who gets the sexy buzz this year, I'd have to say already you can hear the buzz from the 5,000 journalists. Even when they're not speaking English, you hear them talk about the Acura MSX, which is yet to be revealed. This has been three years in the making. It's a three-motor hybrid engine that gives you the power of a Ferrari with the fuel efficiency of a Prius. So think about that for a moment. That's an amazing car. Even the American car makers, lovers, and enthusiasts are going to be walking over to check them out in a matter of a few minutes. Of course, the show starts for the public on January 17th. We'll be here all morning long giving you a sneak peek. Reporting live at Kobo, Rupraj, Fox 2 News. Guys.